Hi, my name is Matt Blum, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about building for Lambda within NX. I'm gonna start with an overview of our repository and its contents, then I'm gonna talk about our quick build process and our Dockerize build for larger and more complex apps, and then finally, how we deploy to Lambda. So a little bit about me. I'm a technical lead at Cisco. I work on Cisco Defense Orchestrator, which currently manages over 25,000 firewalls for some very fancy companies. I'm a front-end developer by trade, which means that the first thing I worked on at Cisco was back-end development and DevOps. So we have a lot of apps and functions to manage. We want to build as quickly as possible. We want to manage a single set of build scripts, and we want to run every app in Lambda. Our build process should work for small apps with few dependencies and larger apps with a lot of dependencies. And we need to support libraries like SQLite that use native bindings. So enter NX. NX allows us to create and organize one set of build scripts to reduce overhead, ease developer pain, and make our ongoing maintenance easier. What's in our mono repo? We have some Nest.js apps, smaller functions with no or few dependencies, larger functions with a lot of dependencies, some including SQLite, a Lambda Edge function which handles user auth, and a detail, huh, okay. Let's talk about our quick build process. This process is great for smaller and more straightforward apps. It uses the node modules in the NX workspace, which has already been installed. We essentially jam everything into one JS file using a little bit of config and workspace JSON. By setting external dependencies to none, and adding a little custom Webpack config, we can get a single JS file that has no external dependencies, but that file can be quite large. This process also does not support libraries like SQLite because of the native bindings. So let's talk about our slightly less quick build process. We use a Dockerized version of the Lambda runtime and install our dependencies within it. So how do we do this? First, we create and populate a build directory on the host, then we build a Docker container from the Lambda runtime and install the dependencies. Then we run the container and copy the node modules folder back to our build directory. So step one, super simple. We make a build directory on the CI host and it holds two files, main.js, package.json. Just to note, this file is the transpiled version of your app. Step two is to build the Docker container. Now that we have the build directory on our host already with the files we need, we need to build up our container. We use the docker build command and a simple docker file that looks like this. We start from the AWS runtime. We copy our files, install our dependencies, and then we move over the simple script, which will copy the node modules back and set our entry point to run that script when the container is run. Step three is to run the docker container. We've got it built and the dependencies are installed, but we still need to run it and execute the bash script to copy the node modules back to the host. We issue a simple docker run command and bind our volume here. The end result is that our build directory now has the main.js, package.json, and node modules that we need to deploy to Lambda. Now we deploy. Whether you use the quick build or the dockerized build, deploying to Lambda involves three simple steps. One, we zip up the build folder. If you use the quick build, you've just got a single file. If you use the Dockerized build, you've got a single file and your node modules. Next step is to upload that zip file to S3, and then we use the AWS CLI to deploy to Lambda from the zip file we just uploaded. In summary, NX allows us to easily define the build process for each app in our repo. The quick build uses the workspaces, node modules, and creates a single main.js file. The Dockerize build installs all dependencies within the Lambda runtime and then copies node modules back to the host. Either way, the deploy is quick and easy. I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. My contact info is below, and I hope you have a great rest of your conference.